All right, guys, today is Friday, September 20th. Water temperature is 76 degrees, but we caught uh, several fish, uh, a lot of small ones. Todd Huckabee rods, man, they're the best rods, um, in my opinion, in, in, in the industry. They're upper end rods. They're very sensitive. They got good backbone to them. We were using the Epic 8 the majority of the time. We were pitching, casting to them. 10 pound test, P-line, zero fade braid with a eight pound test fluoro leader, little number seven split shot, <clears throat> 16th ounce jig with a number four hook and South River bait. We were using the LVS 34 and the 32 both, depending on if we were spot locked or we were using our trolling motor. Just hope you liked the video. Subscribe, like button. It'd sure be great, greatly appreciated. There he is. A little bigger one. All right, that's a bigger one there, boy. Boy, that's a that's a good one. That's one of our better ones today. Right in that brush pile. And right there. Using that epic eight. <clears throat> We might put that one in live well and save a few. <clears throat> See if we can get some out of that out of that pile right there. We'll cast past it right here. Try to get right in there because I see the bigger ones right in there. There's some bigger ones right inside of there. Look at all of them in there. There he is. That's a bigger one right there. All right. All right. Man, that, guys, that, man, I tell you, my favorite rod out of the Power Crappie line, the Todd Huckabee Signature Series rods, man, is this, you, this Epic 8, this 8-footer, man, is a great rod. <clears throat> uh, the bigger ones are in there guys there's a bigger one right there he couldn't help himself he said you know what I'm going to get it before the little ones get it. Now, I'll tell you what we're doing. I'm using a, a uh, six, uh, 30 seconds 
16 ounce jig, I'm sorry, with a uh, number four uh, steel head hook. We might keep us a couple. There he is. Yeah, hold a second, okay. All right. Oh, I got a little bigger one. Little one, a little bigger one. Uh, we might throw this one in a live whale. <clears throat> no, that's good. See a big one right there. And you get over to it. There he is. That's a bigger one right there. All right. All right. Bigger ones. I see them there. There's a whole group of them. Whole group of them. <clears throat> using that Todd Huckabee signature series rod by Power Crappie. Man, that's a good rod. Good filling rod. Good action. Put that we're gonna save that one. There he is. See what we got here. A little bigger one. <clears throat> there. That's pretty. There, see what we got there. Oh, bigger ones. Right in that brush pile. We're right over top of that brush pile. North, see if that brush pile, it's in 20 foot of water. <clears throat> You're not gonna spook them. 
I got on spot lock. Drop right back down into there. There he is. All right. He's a little mad. He's a little mad. Tell you guys, what we're using is that uh, Signature Series Rod Epic 8. Uh, by Power Crappie. This is uh, Todd Huckabee's Signature Series Rod Epic 8, 8 foot medium action by Power Crappie. And it really is a good rod. Man, all the rods are good. I mean, every one of them. I haven't found one that I didn't like. But this is the perfect casting rod. So what what we've how we've got our Epic Eight set up is we've got ten pound test braid and it, I'm trying out this uh, it's called Zero Fade Braid by P Line. Man, that's I love it. I mean, it hasn't you know changed color at all. All the other braids you use, it always turns white after just a couple weeks. I've I've got a uh, uh, eight pound test fluorocarbon leader tied on. Now I had a lot longer leader than this, but 
I kept getting uh, hung up in the brush piles. I've got a 16th ounce uh, jig head that I make. Um, it's got a number four steelhead hook and I'm using that uh, South River bait, uh, his new mold that he's got and it's uh, like a crystal shiner color and I don't think the head color matters but you know I've got pink on here I mean I don't I don't think it matters I think the color of the jig heads is just basically what the fishermen like and then I've got a number seven split shot you know that's on there I like to put a split shot on get it down there a little faster <laughs> 